For anyone new to the channel, I'm Linda. And I'm Troy. We are Wines, Pines, and Canines. We left off, this is Desi, by the way. <laughs> this morning we left out of Kanab, Utah. It's a beautiful drive, and we made our way up to Bryce Canyon National Park. It was an unbelievably beautiful drive. Roads, road quality was great. Yes, it's about 90 minutes, about 74 miles. And we had heard that it had gotten a little snow up here. Um, so this is the reason we wanted to come to Bryce today. The drive up here was absolutely stunning. So we're going to show you some of uh, just some quick scenery of the 90 minute drive up here. And then we're going to head into Bryce Canyon. So one of the reasons we wanted to do Bryce is it's a, a great driving park from what we hear. And because of the dog, most of the time he's not allowed on the hikes. Yeah, and it's a great park for people that maybe for mobility reasons can't hike but still want a beautiful view. and Or you just quite honestly don't have enough time in your vacation schedule to allow for a lot of hiking. You can still see a lot just driving through it. I've watched quite a few videos as we all have and uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to be going into the park. All right, so we are all the way at the end of it. We traveled the full length of this park. Now we're headed back toward the entrance. As you come into the park, it's a beautiful drive, but all the lookout positions are on the left side. So as we make our way down, we're going to pull into each and every one of them, take in what is an astronomical top 10 view. Yeah, um, we're up here. It's what, 9,100 feet, really. The elevation, I think it's called Rainbow Point. Um, so we're going to have a quick lunch. We did get some box lunches right as we entered the park. There is Ruby's, the Canyon Diner, and they sell some box lunches. So um, if you're in the area, um, but Troy's right. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I have to say it's not what I expected. I expected it to just be kind of all the hoodoos and the canyons and the red rocks. And the drive up here was pretty much all, you know, forested trees with snow caps. So absolutely gorgeous. Goes to show sometimes you just never know what you're going to find till you get here. Right now, Troy's off on a short hike out to the Rainbow Point. Um, when he gets back, I'm gonna go. Does he can't go? Snow. Okay, I am ready. Troy just got back. This is brisk. 30 knot winds and 30 degrees. It's about single digits. So, let's go get started. That's it. Been out here about five minutes photographing, and this wind is crazy. Um, there is ice on the ground. Um, it's time to get back to the car.
Ponderosa Point. Absolutely stunning. So glad I'm back in the warm truck. Um, brings tears to my eyes, I think. It might be the fact that my hands are frozen. It is 34 degrees today. It is now around four o'clock. Um, the winds have really picked up, I think out on Bryce Point, because you have to walk way out um, and it's got like guardrails. There must have been 40 mile an hour wind gusts. Um, even when Troy got back, he's like, yeah, yeah, that was, that was epic. So um, I had to like really plant my feet and hold on to the camera to get the shots that I did. We are back at Bryce Canyon. It is a lot warmer today than it was about five days ago. Uh, yeah, or, uh, yeah, I think about five days ago. So we are back to do the things we couldn't do last time. And one of those is the half mile dog friendly hike. <music> a few uh, minutes into this trail it's a really nice paved trail it's kind of wooded it doesn't have the views um, of the hoodoos or the amphitheater or any of that but it is really close to the other trail I don't know if you can see behind me so Troy just went straight up here real quick and there's a lookout point so it's a nice way for us to be able to take Desi and still be able to see some of the viewpoints um, behind us as well now about a third of the way down this dog friendly trail and as you can see the views got a little better we are about 
two thirds of the way through now, right behind me is going to be Sunset Point. And then we're gonna do a couple of the trails, probably the Navajo Trail and the Queen's Garden, at least part of them, while the other stays up here with Desi. I'm on the Navajo Trail loop. Now this one is 1.3 miles and if you are looking for a longer hike I believe it connects to the Queen's Garden Trail to make it like 2.9 miles. I'm not gonna go the full 1.3 miles. Um, I'm thinking the hardest thing about this is gonna be the fact that what goes down must go up. I'm down about halfway so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go back up so here's a trick for me and going back up but every 50 feet or so there's a nice spot where um, it's kind of a landing where you can stop and just rest and take some pictures so don't take the pictures going down take them coming back up back at sunrise point this whole sunrise to sunset me going down Navajo Trail mm -hmm. uh, about halfway and stopping for pictures took about an hour and a half yep next I'm gonna go down the Queen's Garden Trail it's an eighth of a mile should be absolutely stunning the weather is an absolute perfection yes it is in the 50s today unlike last week when we were here in the 20s and there's a lot less wind so he's gonna get started let's go so here we are at the beginning of the Queen's Garden Trail at Sunrise Point. One of the nice things about the trail is that although it does have a pretty serious grade downhill or uphill at times, it does have level places very often. So you can kind of move at your own pace without feeling you have to climb a whole bunch on, at any given section. So that was the Queen's Garden Trail. Totally picturesque. Bryce Canyon, beautiful. Absolutely perfect weather. Really easy to get down. A little bit more taxing to get to the top. So there you have it, our trip to Bryce Canyon when we were out west. Of all the things we did, I think Bryce Canyon exceeded my expectations because when you get to go down and down from the top, down into the valley, the hikes are just outstanding. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Now this is just the, um, I think the second of our videos in Utah. We have upcoming our uh, days at Zion, um, Cedar Breaks, uh, Grand Escalante, Grand Staircase Escalante with the Slot Canyons. Um, plus we did a week dry camping at the South Rim of the Grand Canyon and another sleeper, which was the Petrified Forest National Park. So if you'd like to see those upcoming, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, Desi always wants you to hit that notification bell.